Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Bob, thank you. Thank you for your leadership. Thank you for your vision. Thank you for your dedication. Thank each and every one of you for being here. When I was growing up many, many years ago as a little boy, and we visited a little town of Troy in southeast Alabama, where I grew up, 50 miles from Montgomery, I would see those signs that said, white men, colored men, white women, colored women, white waiting, colored waiting. And I would come home and ask my mother, my father, my grandparents, my great-grandparents, why? And they would say, that's the way it is. Don't get in the way, don't get in trouble. But I heard the words of Martin Luther King Jr. on old radio. I heard about Rosa Parks, and I was inspired to get in trouble, good trouble, necessary trouble. What I'm trying to suggest today, by being here on Capitol Hill, you're getting in trouble. Good trouble, necessary trouble. There come a time as artists and art supporters when you must find a way to dramatize the issue, to make it real, to make it plain, my beloved brothers and sisters. Yes, without the arts, where will we be as a nation and as a people? Where will we be? Without the painting, the dance, the music. Where will we be? Because of the arts, we have witnessed in America in a very short time what I like to call a nonviolent revolution in the area of human rights and civil rights. Don't tell me that the arts didn't play a major role in bringing us where we are today as a people. Saying that we are one people, we are one family, we are one house, we all live in the American house or in the world house. The arts tell us, make it very plain and crystal clear that we are black, yes, we are white, we are Latino, we are Asian American, we are Native American, we are straight, we are gay, but we all are human. One humanity, one love. <laughs> so go out today and, and, and tell your story. Bob, I will never forget. How can I? When Martin Luther King Jr. came to Washington and I came also 23 years old, had all of my hair, a few pounds lighter. <laughs> to march on Washington, the artist was there. When we marched from Selma to Montgomery 48 years ago, artists came. So I said to you, just tell the story. Make it real, make it plain, and find a way to get in the way, find a way to make a way out of no way. Thank you very much.